Welcome to the On Your Mind podcast, where we are changing the mental health narrative, bringing hope and solutions. Here's your host, Timothy J. Hayes, psychologist. The Honorable Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, Doctorate of Naturopathic Medicine and PhD, is inventor, researcher, and professor of applied integrative biophysics. She was born to genius scientists who met in engineering physics, and Dr. Michael has taught holistic health for over four decades, including inventing the first effective scalar healing light chamber in 1978. Dr. Michael's lifelong award-winning work in applied integrative biophysics has earned prestigious recognition such as presidential and international who's who, lecturing at the United Nations, MIT, the World Health Summit, the Harvard Club, London's Royal Society of Medicine, Mount Sinai Medical School, the Scalar Research Experts Conference, Telsa Tech, Regenerative Technology and Anti-Aging Congresses, as well as numerous medical schools and ministries of health worldwide. Dr. Michael has served on the board of the Global Foundation for Integrative Medicines and as a commissioner for the International Tribunal for Natural Justice and is on the Science Advisory Board for American Great Health. How you got into the work you do and what drives your passion for it? <laughs> yeah, I just want to heal the world. And that's been my passion literally since I was pretty much born, but as a child. Um, I mean, I have a, a kind of an interesting background in that my mother was visioning plutonium in the labs working on the bomb the whole time she was pregnant with me. And I remember that. <laughs> so she is working on the bomb, visioning plutonium. She's a nuclear physicist. My parents met in engineering physics. My dad, the electrical, mechanical, structural, aeronautical engineer. And so he was working on stealth bombers and Mach 3, and I did all the top secret government science experiments. So I grew up doing, uh, you know, all Tesla's work, all Tesla's experiments, levitating things, magnets, you name it, I, I transducers and receivers. But it was all about how do we heal all this? How do we heal all this? So I've been teaching holistic health over 45 years Started in 1971 in chiropractic, reflexology, nutrition, Ayurveda, <laughs> and really dove into it. And, and so, um, and built my first scalar healing light chamber after all kinds of experiments and all kinds of research and built my first scalar heal, healing light chamber in my spa in um, Monroeville, Pennsylvania, of all places. <laughs> in 1978, but that was one person at a time. And in the meantime, uh, you know, we've taught every aspect of holistic healing uh, from dealing with photonics to everything else. And, and we can really talk the, the science, the physics. I mean, it's like a combination of, uh, you know, it's, it's biophysics, but it's nuclear and quantum physics, <laughs> you know, metaphysics, because it's more like spiritual science in that what allows anything and everything to heal? You know, how do you, you know, the power that made the body heals the body. That's a basic principle that I've worked with for decades and decades. Power that made the body heals the body, because I see the body as a combination of circuitry and structural engineering and physics, right? <laughs> and so everything's a circuitry and, and, you know, and circuit jams and things like that. And, and the body has consciousness. But, um, but how do we plug the body back into that cosmic light socket? universal unlimited power on. So, so I developed a technology that's wireless transmission, you know, it's scalar, but it's also polychromatic therapy as far as your ultimate light therapy, PEMF, pulse electromagnetic field therapies. It's all many, many layers of things combined, Fibonacci, because that helps trigger and activate and mobilize the body's stem cells, which is our natural way of healing, but it's designed to activate the light at the core of the DNA because the DNA is biophotonic, prime function of DNA is storage of photons. And so we're colliding photons 
like Cerna Fermi Labs, and, and it activates the light within us. And so, and then from that effect is raising the millivoltage in the cells, that cell membrane potential. And I'm very, very blessed in that I've seen anything and everything completely heal. Because the power that made the body heals the body, and the body, when it has the right energy, wants to heal anything and everything, wants to function perfectly and optimally. And, you know, of course, I have 30 some years of research in right left brain synchronization, which is really key to healing and, and brain function. And so that's one of the first things it does uh, this is balances the brain. So we wanted to talk about mental health and things like that. So, so that's so you, my background. <laughs> so, so you were saying that in this work and the scalar energy that you have, you're, one of the statements you made was that the prime function of DNA is the storage of photons. Mm -hmm. And this... Uh, Fritz Albert Pop's work. Yeah. But, but just help, help me understand whether this work that you're doing stimulates the photons that are there, brings them into the field? What, what is this energy field work that you provide? How does it work? And, and what would it be like for somebody to experience it? Yeah, because it's activating the light at the core of the DNA. The core of the DNA is literally the stuff from the stars. It's the light within us. And we are bodies of light, which is what my work was called for oh, decades, I think, body of light. Uh, so it, it is about that embodiment of our light. And that's what heals us. So it's a very interesting. It's like turning the lights back on and it gives the body the energy to heal anything and everything. But it's called kind of you could call it kind of cellular enlightenment, the way it raises the millivoltage and and brings that cell membrane potential up. We're meant to be functioning at 70 to 90 millivoltage when healthy. Cancer doesn't exist even until that's below 20. Because it takes so much energy when you're out of balance and stressed out when coping with stress, you know, everybody's stressed out where, you know, it's sympathetic versus parasympathetic, fright, flight, or fight, where, where all the body's energy is being put into survival mode just to cope with what's considered a hostile environment or constant compensation for imbalance with struggle. So then the body being stressed out versus coming into alignment, that zero point energy of balance. In Hawaiian, we call it pono. I like that term too, pono, but balance, where that zero point energy, where you have all the energy, you're breathing all God's light, <laughs> all, all the energy, all the, you know, you have access to whatever you need to be able to function more perfectly, but, but literally to be able to respond to all the stressors because you have the energy to respond appropriately to any and all stressors versus being stressed out. <laughs> and so you've got the devices that the EE system, enhanced energy system, where mm -hmm. they, I've only watched your videos and seen them set up, but they're they're sold as in like four unit packages minimum. So you have to have them. Yeah. Is, is it the idea that a person is surrounded by the light and the energy coming out of these or? Ideally, yes, because we're colliding photons and creating photonic fusion, like a photonic nuclear fusion type event. And so that's part of what raises the millivoltage. And we literally have seen the millivoltage in the cells. And this is with AccuGraph testing and things go from, you know, 20 or around 20 up to 70 or 80. You know, we're meant to be at 70 to 90 in one hour. So it's uh, quadrupled mitochondrial activity in one hour. But all anybody does is they go into this enhanced energetic environment where you have these field engine generators generating the fields and they're precisely aligned. So every installation is a custom installation because it's laser aligned, very precise, because that's what creates uh, that um, nullification of detrimental fields, the nullification of radiation, EMF, ELF, et cetera. 
And, and it creates the hyper healthy energy in the system with the photons. So, but all anybody does in, in that to, to get the optimum benefit, uh, say for example, I mean, ideally you'd have it around your bed because that's where you repair, rejuvenate, and regenerate is in the delta and theta brain states. But say you're going to one of our centers or, or a clinic, you want to take that ultimate power nap, say all your prayers, because it's, it creates ideal optimal brain states. And, and in a clinic, people, and rather than being in a bed, they might be in a zero gravity chair because, to take all the stress off their off their spine and be able to relax and kick back. And, and um, some of the actual research is that you can go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in seven minutes. So it creates these ideal optimal brain states that are amazing to work with. So much research on the benefits of meditation. I don't have to talk about that. We tell people to go in, say all their prayers, in those seven minutes, <laughs> go as deep as you can, and then take that ultimate power nap where everything's recharging. And like I said, literally quadrupled mitochondrial activity in one hour. So that explains a lot of the, uh, uh, the cell, um, uh, that opening up of all the neurotransmitters. And, and it's, some, it's a natural high because it's oxygenating the brain and opening up neuropathways. And it's really amazing to work with that way. But mostly people go in and they go, oh, my God, I slept better than I've ever slept. <laughs> well, and when you, you keep referencing, you know, the mitochondria and my limited exposure to the biology says that's the energy center or the energy production center of the cell. So that right. I'm going to experience an increase of vitality or energy mm -hmm. after an hour in this energy field. Literally, your light force energy or life force energy. The mitochondria are the power plants of the cells. That's your ATP production. But quadrupled mitochondria activity, this was in a pilot study that we did with electro-interstitial scanning when I lectured at the Royal Society of Medicine in London. And we did a pilot study with nine people, every single one of them in one hour had quadrupled, that's four times, the mitochondrial activity. Well, that's your nerve cell regeneration and things like that. It's your energy production in the cells. So then the body has the energy to heal. But the first thing the body wants to do, I always like to talk about this, is first thing the body wants to do when it has more energy is it wants to clean house. When the body has this charge, then it wants to discharge everything that doesn't belong heavy metals, you know, so which is linked so much to your autism and, and Alzheimer's and things like that, your aluminum and uh, mercury and things like that, um, or pesticides and, and things that might be linked to Parkinson's. So the body starts trying to push out what doesn't belong. And so then the world's easiest detox, how you really optimize the time with our technology is you take this power nap and I recommend two hours for a session, give the body more time to get to the deeper healing states and more time to use the energy. And then when you go home or, or you, you do um, a detox salt bath, two cups of salt, uh, the bath I'm currently recommending, two cups of salt, two cups of baking soda, that's the bath for pulling radiation, and a cup of borax, plain meal team borax, because that's, that's helping people cope with all these spike proteins and things that are in our environment now. So, uh, but what everybody is dealing with is radiation poisoning at this point. And so this helps reverse all that damage or all those issues. And this has been our research since the 90s, where they found it was eliminating all the radiation and those effects. But when we put it in it with NASA for research in, in Houston, they found that our technology was repairing all the breaks in the DNA, the genetic damage, and lengthening the telomeres. What radiation does is unzips the DNA. 
Well, unified fields puts it back together, but also the release of the active hydrogen repairs the covalent hydrogen bonds. And then the lengthening of telomeres, I mean, that's a lot of your anti-aging research, et cetera, but um, that's true age reversal. So have you seen that when people come in and they do an hour or two and they say their prayers as you're recommending and then they take their power nap, because after the first seven minutes, they're <laughs> they're reaching a, a, an elevated or a relaxed state that's comparable to somebody who's meditated for years. Uh -huh. Have you seen or have they reported that after that, it's easier to get to that meditative state or that, that, that the effects of that mental, emotional, relaxed state last after the treatment? Absolutely. Yeah, after the treatment, they find they're sleeping better. Um, our, one of our doctors talked about, I don't have to teach anybody how to meditate anymore. <laughs> we just put them in the system. Now they know how to meditate. <laughs> wow. so, yeah, it's very, very interesting, uh, the research. And, and if people want to look at the research, um, eesystem.com, energy enhancement, but eesystem.com, there's a research page. And you'll see some of the peer-reviewed published study on um, autism, seizure uh, mitigation of seizure disorder that was published in the journal Neurology Research. That's actually a very interesting study because it's a um, with the University of Hawaii Medical School. There's a little girl four years old having uh, eight to 10 grand mal seizures a day. They'd already done chelation. They'd done all the dietary, all the allopathic, all the naturopathic. They'd done it, you know, changed all the diet. They changed. They even bought their own hyperbaric chamber. Well, she had her first seizure-free day after a third one-hour session. Yeah. Going from having eight to 10 grand mal seizures a day and eight to 10 petite mal. So, that reduced, reduced down. So we've seen a lot with autism. You know, it's so good for kids, so good for kids. And then also like um, a, little, um, had a little baby just a week old, two weeks old, was, having, was in really, really bad shape. Was, the mother was on crack. So this was a crack baby going through withdrawals. They put her in, the, in our system and just watched her whole body go, ah, relax and go to sleep because they're just, you know, they're just really in, in a horrific state of stress and just relaxed and, and all their issues healed and they're doing fantastic. The kids are where it's at. Um, I love the work with kids, but also learning challenges and things like that. It's really, really good for brain function all the way around. Brain function also for the elderly because it like implodes the plaque in over the receptors in the cells or over the receptors in the brain. It literally implodes that plaque. And so we've seen a lot of reversals of dementia and things like that. But people can look at the, um, the initial clinicals from 2001 with Dr. Victor Marcial Vega, 132 patient study, stuff like that. So they can find that on the website if they want to read some of the <laughs> things. Or there's also a really nice a uh, doctor who's a Princeton trained MD uh, professor of medicine did a um, did a, a a pilot study for the veterans, and of course we've done a lot with veterans dealing with PTSD, but all their traumatic brain injuries and things like that, and all their exposures, depleted uranium, and um, literally have had people go from you know having cancer, diabetes, whatever, to, to healing and reversing. It's been years and years now. So, so one know, of the things you mentioned before, before we got started was um, a clinic in, I believe you said it was in Utah, where they're using this for drug and alcohol? Yeah, we have four new clinics in Utah. Uh, Ephraim, Utah has a, a large 24-unit system. Now, not everybody, one of my doctors say, why would anybody do less than 24? Well, it's not like everybody has 125,000 to put in a 24-unit system because that's your ideal optimal. They have a 24-unit system publicly available in Ephraim, Utah. Uh, St. George has eight, and I guess they're doing another location with 24, but they're doing drug and alcohol rehab programs with their clinics. 
I think the others are in, closer to Salt Lake and another one further north. So that's now that's some of the nice new centers that have opened up. So when you say they're doing this for drug and alcohol rehab, are they holding group meetings in a room where there's 24 of these units around? Are they having just the one or two hour sessions? Both. Do you, do you understand? Both. Um, we have had a number of drug and alcohol rehab counselors do their group meetings in the system, and it's excellent for that. And it, it's designed to bring any and every therapy to the highest potential of what it could be doing, what it could be and should be doing. But also you want the people to have their own healing. It's kind of like rebooting a computer, literally. So that's why people, you want them to go to sleep. You want them to go to the delta and theta brain states. It's literally like rebooting a computer uh, defrag, <laughs> yeah, defrag, you know, so rather than people being reactive to everything, instead they respond appropriately. And that's, um, you know, so it's really important that people have their own sleep time because as long as the eyes are open, you can do amazing therapy because they can grok it, right? <laughs> people get what you're talking about and get it at a cellular knowing level versus just a theoretical or intellectual they can know things at a deeper level. So it's great for that. However, if the eyes are open, more than 80% of the body's energy is being externalized. And so you do want to close your eyes in the system and internalize all that energy to repair, rejuvenate, regenerate the organs and, and you know, internally to give everything the energy to heal. So is there a, uh, any level at which this might be contraindicated because it's too energizing or activating? No, can never have too much good energy. It's just a hyper healthy energetic environment. And you can't look too good, feel too good, be too happy, be too healthy. <laughs> so no, there's never too much of it ever. Uh, you know, one of my guys has 40 units in his home. Uh, 24 in, in one room and then eight around a bed and eight in his office, 40 units in his home. Um, and he goes, there isn't anybody that doesn't feel better. And he's in his 80s and he said, there isn't anybody over 50 that can touch him in tennis. <laughs> and he had severe prostate issues, tennis elbow uh, injuries, hip injuries, everything else when it went in. So and all of that reversed. And, and so there isn't anybody that doesn't feel better. He also says uh, probably the best thing in the universe for prostate. <laughs> so what's the, how long has the current unit and its configuration been available? Uh, we started letting it out in 2001. I mean, other than putting it in for NASA and different things in the late 90s, um, but it's, that was a four unit system that went in for Dr. Victor Marcial Vega and his clinic in Miami. And so that's been available. What's newer is what we call the EE cube. And so that's four units internally, but it creates like a photon fountain because you can't get in the middle of it. It's like two by two by two. And so those are shipping literally all over the world. Uh, because they don't have to be installed. So people are, you know, they put it on their coffee table, they put it in their office, they put it on um, on a bed stand, you know, just on a counter, they sit anywhere. And those those are our, our baby systems. And so people are loving those. And we've seen crazy miracles with those. Had an 83-year-old woman with um, macular degeneration and inoperable cataracts. And she was going in and hanging out with the friend's cube a couple times a week and realized she could see again, went and had her eyes checked and, and uh, the cataracts were gone and she could see. Uh, another guy, yeah, this is when we were doing the prototypes uh, of the cube. Had another guy two doors down that had a gym, a veteran who needed bilateral knee replacement surgery because it was bone on bone. The cartilage was gone. He's excruciating pain. Realized in the first week that the cube was in, he didn't have any more pain. 
So he canceled his knee surgery. He now benches 470, not bench, that's not right. He squats. Squats, yeah. 475 pounds. It's like on those bad knees. So all kinds of crazy stories <laughs> as far as, you know, it, it works. You know, retinal hemorrhage, reversing, aort, uh, have a doctor with aortic, his aortic aneurysm and um, atrial fib. Totally reversed to the point where his cardiologist could find no trace. And another guy with heart ejection fraction of 45 went up to 65. He was also a candidate for dialysis and his kidneys normalized. You know, things like that. So we, you know, we're very blessed in that we've seen everything work. And vision improvement is what we hear the most because of the the small blood vessels, you know, the microcirculation to the eyes, those are the smallest vessels. So we had one guy that was 2,800, it went to 2,400, and then 2,060, and corrected to 2,020 from 2,800. So he was blind, more than blind. <laughs> so we, you know, it's, it's pretty cool what we've seen. How many clinics do you know of that that have these devices and at least because as I read about it, they have at least four units? Yeah, typically minimally four. And like the cube is four units internally, even though it's done two by two by two. So, you know, two foot by two foot and it sits anywhere. So that's another thing people do. And then uh, or they go to a center, for example, in Newport Beach, we have a beautiful center that's 24-unit system, or in New Jersey, another 24-unit system. They're having fantastic results there. They can go to Long Island. It's a beautiful center there. We talked about Kentucky. That's nearer. But there is supposed to be a big, a, a big medical center going in with a doctor near Chicago. So... Um, but 90 some percent of our systems are just in private homes around the bed. And then we also, you know, people may not want to spend that much. So this is the, <laughs> the medallion is the high tech and the low tech model. And of course you wear the medallions, does like a five co cocoon and helps maintain the integrity of the DNA, helps maintain the integrity of the red blood cells you know, because it's, um, you know, that torsion field or, or um, donut shape is the shape of red blood cells. So it helps maintain the integrity and the fluidity and things like that. Um, but yeah, the actual lab research with the medallions that are hypercharged with our technology. So it's something of a, a piece of the technology can, you can wear and take wherever you go, that and the bracelets. Um, 28% increase in the electrical conductivity of the DNA itself is the actual lab research with the, with our Stanford, Harvard biophysicists. So, so these are the other, and people grid their bed with it too. Um, they put four around the corners of the bed and one in the middle and they find they sleep better. So that's the, <laughs> that's the cheaper version of a, <laughs> <laughs> and if I remember correctly, in some of the videos I've watched about this is your measuring this indicates they don't really lose their charge over time. No, it's an infinity wave. It's nonlinear, non-Hertzian, fifth dimensional standing columnar waves beyond relative time and space. So we ask people, how long does an infinity wave last? It just keeps on going. And that's what, you know, things have been tested 10 years later, 20 years later, as great a charge or greater 100% of the time. So no, they don't need recharged or anything like that. And, and the bracelets are very handy. People love what they do. You can restructure your water. You can taste the difference. What people enjoy too is uh, use putting a bracelet on uh, a glass of water or a bottle of water or putting it on their wine. <laughs> with champagne, you can literally watch the bubbles get smaller and faster as it reduces the surface tension and opens up the nose. Red wine is incredible what it does. So that's, that's our fun science experiment. <laughs> okay, so thinking in terms of our time limitations, we've talked about the energy 
in the field that you generate, increasing the energy at the cellular level, at the photonic level in the body, and then right. having an experience of deep relaxation and clearing thoughts and then greater energy, so greater healing potential. Uh, you've listed a whole bunch of things that you've had experience where people have had their body begin to heal all kinds of ailments. What's another aspect of this work maybe that I haven't asked you about yet that, that you enjoy or that was a, a, a unique story that we want to get in here before we run out of time? Besides the wine tasting, <laughs> people yeah. ask what I do for fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm part of a sommelier group because of what it does for wine. That's that's rather fun. Um, but, um, yeah, the technology is literally all over the world, and people need to know that. We have a 24-unit system, beautiful 24-unit system in Abu Dhabi and with a Sultan, for example. Uh, and it, but it feels good. But also, I just had somebody diagnosed with MS. He went in, he said it felt like, and he'd, he'd had this spine fuse and he would, he'd been an athlete. This is this one. He's actually coming later today again. He flew in from Wisconsin because I was going to be here in Vegas. So um, but he said when he first he went in, he felt like his feet were on fire. And he said then he felt the, the nerves, the energy going up through all his nerves and going to the places that were especially compromised. So people feel the energy. They might feel a little bit of a tingle. They might, you know, just, they feel it moving around to old injuries and, or moving, you know, up and down their spine or across their brain. It's really quite interesting what people describe. And um, one of the unique aspects is also um, people that have recently lost a loved one. It seems to make it very easy for them to communicate, which brings a lot of peace and healing for people. And that's really uh, very special, you know, to bring completions and things like that, or to know how they're doing and, um, or, you know, let them know everything you want them to know and vice versa. The, you know, completions, you know, and that communication, because it's, um, it's a trans-dimensional technology, like I said, fifth dimensional. And it seems because there is no death. There is no death. Just because they know their body doesn't mean the people aren't still connected and with them in spirit. And so I've had people, you know, talk about, you know, all kinds of experiences like that or seeing their angels or, you know, just, um, but a lot of healing. You know, there's so many levels to healing. I find that to be a, a really good aspect as well, where people can you know, finally come to peace with their, you know, father who abused them or, you know, or the sexual abuse issues and things like that, and, and really come to a place of integration and peace and healing. And they come to that after... A period of time having multiple exposures to this work or you're talking about one or two sessions what sometimes it's one or two sessions uh, but it's cumulative like you said you, you can't have too much good energy um, so each time is a different experience for people and uh, they have all kinds of you know all variety of things because it it's you know it's just a totally supportive energetic environment so it you know it doesn't impose or make people have any any kind of experience per se but but it supports them in allowing them to have their own healing whatever that means yeah, and for well, a lot of people especially the first time in they just go deep they're like a log they go, i've never slept that deep in my life <laughs> because the body's trying to heal so sometimes it's later when they get more of the ahas or more of that communication. Well, and as you say, if you provide what the body needs to do the healing, and, and at this level, you're providing at an energy level or a photonic level. And some, you know, we have all kinds of different therapies that provide nutrients, gut biome, all that other stuff. Well, here you're providing an energy, a fundamental energy that the body yeah. needs to hear. Literally like light force or life force energy. 
Yeah, it's kind of like Star Trek, Star Wars, and the Matrix got together and had a baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a, unique because nothing touches the body. You know, it's just a, an energetic environment. And, and people, can, I, I, probably the easiest way for people to kind of wrap their head around it is CNN did a clip years ago. It's an old clip, but it's about four or five minutes. And that's kind of the easiest way for people to kind of see what it looks like and, and you know, see some of the doctors and stuff and, and kind of get an, a concept. So that's uh, on the eesystem.com website, but it's also on YouTube. So if people put my name, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, or, or if they put EE system in YouTube, it, there's a lot more on YouTube than what's on our website, but that's there. There's also some interesting uh, scientists and things, uh, you know, like the former head of um, science for the Pentagon it, it brought a $100,000 oscilloscope into the system. And he, in listening to him describe what he's seeing and what it means, it's because somebody actually recorded it. <laughs> so that's on our website as well. Uh, that's John Oriva. People uh, might enjoy the science part, you know, what that means. But but bottom line is the technology works, yeah. works real well, whether it's the medallions. The miracles with the medallions were literally reported to the Vatican. <laughs> crazy stuff like that. Um, people pass them around instead of aspirin for pain. The bracelets are, um, the blood runs through it and it's on a pulse point. So people like those. They're very handy, literally, because you can pop them off and put them on things. And um, So we have lots of ways to for supporting people. We also have the hypercharged DE salt. When Fukushima happened, I said, we got to get the radiation out of people's bodies. And so this formula was developed with the hypercharge. Again, to, you know, a lot of what our technology does is reversal of the radiation issues. And with the 5G and Fukushima and all that, if you don't have our technology, it's like you're living in a microwave. And that creates accelerated aging. <laughs> so that's not a good thing. <laughs> all right. Well, I greatly appreciate your taking the time to be with us. And I, one more time, want to get it's EE system, S Y S T E M S. No, e it's singular, S Y S T E M, E E system dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Well, I, I will look forward to following the work. And uh, I hope you're right that there's going to be one of these uh, in the Chicago area before long. Uh, yeah. as, we, as we talked about before, <laughs> well, as we talked about before, the closest one is about an eight hour drive away down in Lexington, Kentucky from here. So, yeah, but a lot of people do make that drive down or flight down or something and stay at one of the centers and, you know, do bed and breakfast or something with, <laughs> with it. Um, and, and some of the centers let people sleep overnight, which is good too, because that's the best. That's where the magic is, is in sleeping in it and a little more time for the body to use the energy. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to following the work. Thank you, Dr. Tim. Thanks for having me on and, and sharing with people. The Honorable Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, Doctorate of Naturopathic Medicine and PhD, is an inventor, researcher, and professor of applied integrative biophysics. She was born to genius scientists who met in engineering physics, and Dr. Michael has taught holistic health for over four decades, including inventing the first effective scalar healing light chamber in 1978. Dr. Michael's lifelong award-winning work in applied integrative biophysics has earned prestigious recognition such as presidential and international who's who, lecturing at the United Nations, MIT, the World Health Summit, the Harvard Club, London's Royal Society of Medicine, Mount Sinai Medical School, the Scalar Research Experts Conference, Telsa Tech, Regenerative Technology and Anti-Aging Congresses, as well as numerous medical schools and ministries of health worldwide. 
Dr. Michael has served on the board of the Global Foundation for Integrative Medicines and as a commissioner for the International Tribunal for Natural Justice and is on the Science Advisory Board for American Great Health. Dr. Michael is featured globally in a variety of books, newspaper, and journal articles, including a peer-reviewed University of Hawaii study on seizure disorder in autism. Her true bioscalar EE system, Enhanced Energy System Technology, has been broadcasted widely on radio and TV and seen on CNN, Fox News, The Doctors, Wall Street Journal, and the Beverly Hills Times, plus being highlighted in a full-length movie titled The Grand Self. You've been listening to the On Your Mind podcast, offered by Journey's Dream, where we support people through mental health challenges to a place of true and lasting well-being. If you love our show, we invite you to visit onyourmindpodcast.org to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our helpful resources. Thank you for listening.